So hello guys, welcome to Pentesting with Spirit and after a long time, today I'm making this video. Um, so today we will be doing the RACDF and yesterday I I played it and I did quite a few of web challenges and um, I was just not able to do these two challenges, the Collide and the Vandalism. But right now I will just show you how I did all these um, challenges. So for that, I just created a new account here, and let let's begin. So this is quarantine hidden information, and we think there is a file they don't want people to see hidden somewhere. See if you can find it. It's gotta be on their web app somewhere. All right. Also, we will try not to use the verb suite. I Means we will, but we will try not to and yeah so this is the raqe real awesome quarantine entertainment and quarantine sucks i must say and let's see sign in so there is a sign in register we can't really register and there's an admin so it's just redirecting us back to the sign in page so for this challenge you just um for this or whenever you attach a web application in CTFs mostly, you just try to look for the robots, robots.txt file and see if it's there. And like here, you can see the admin stash is there. So just copy and paste it and there you go. We got our first flag. So hippity hoppity, now you are my property. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, we did the first challenge and now we will try to do the quarantine one and Alright, so see if we can get access to the account on the web app. Alright, let's see mm. Go go here and let's see what is there so stuck in quarantine us do we will okay anyways they want us to sign in so this is a login page and there is only one thing that uh we can try in most of the ctfs and that is the sql injection so let's begin so uh for that uh i used to do um the simple payload um you can use whatever you want means i i generally used to test with this admin or admin is equals to admin and let's say if we can get it nope let's see if there is any sqli so just give any password yeah so we got an error when we used the single code let's comment it out and let's see um hd okay so now we are not getting any error so oh uh, one thing is sure that uh, the SQL injection is there. So order bar one, copy and just paste it just in case. Okay. Order by five, copy, paste. And there we go. Where we got the error again. Let's see the four. So on four also, we are getting the error on three. Oh, no error at three. All right, let's do the union all select one to three. And let's see, here we go. We got our second flag. Well, and yes, we didn't use SQL map. You know, it sucks. <laughs> no, it don't really. Um, it's actually a great tool if you know how to use it anyways like finding uh, information so finding server information see if you can find the source we think it's called app.py so um, app.py all right um, let's see the source page and we can see there are these files watch uh, HM. H T T I O K T C Y I 
and here you can see this is just a video that is playing and let's see if it's there let's first check how it's taking it hmm. all right nothing interesting here let's see all right so what I did was for this challenge um, I simply just thought uh, this application is uh, putting file uh, in this watch directory so I just type app.py here I uh, it was just showing this and I thought to check the um, source page and right here was our flag just copy it and paste it right here attempt flag yeah sure and then we have the getting admin so now see if we can get an admin account and sure we will so for that what we really need to do is um, <clears throat> um, all right so right now we don't know what we are uh, for this I just went to this um, inspect element or Google Dev tool some people used to say and go here see the cookies and you can see there is an auth so it is a JWT token so for this what I did was I just copied it and yes maybe for this now we will use um, the book suite uh, just to decode nothing else so JWT is known as the JSON web token and it's and many of the organizations nowadays use it uh, all right and just decode it oh all right so it already decoded this one part so there there is only one thing that you need to remember or maybe three I would say so the first header this thing uh, before the first full stop is is what is the thing that tells uh, which algorithm is used to encrypt the um, signature you can say so this is using the HH256 and the second one is here this part is the data the second one so here it just contain the data like the username password or privilege in this case or whatever it means it, it could be anything like the ID of the user whatever it means and the last part is the signature which tells this is um, valid so there are quite a few of attacks that that are there for the JWT um, for that I would recommend you to check the um, Pentestral Lab Pro exercises it's really great just check it I'm just check them out and here anyways so I will use the none so I will tell that I'm not going to use any of these algorithm so none user one and the privilege so let's see the privilege level to one so because we know uh, I mean in journal the one is known for the admin uh, decode oh sorry not decode encode so here is it uh, also there is one thing that we need to do uh, okay just copy this uh, just remove it paste hit enter just refresh and let's go to admin and see if we can get nope we didn't get anything uh, let's see uh, where it is where did it go uh, this one was right anyways 
let's say if it's there in the source no it's not so then I just try to increase the privilege level from 1 to 2 and just copy this and now we will remove this paste it enter and now we will refresh and now we'll go to admin and voila we got our flag JavaScript web token huh it's just it's JSON I believe it's JSON <laughs> anyways we did uh, all the quarantine one because now we are out of quarantine you know now everything is lift up means quarantine is lift up or what no not quarantine whatever it is it is lift up and I hope you are doing great and now the entry point sadly it looks like there wasn't much to see in the Python source we suspect we may be able to log into the site using the backup credentials but we are not sure where they might be in case the password you find in that, that would be the flag all right so just go here go to here and we can close this and let's see oh so there is a backup.txt file let's see if we can if it's there so it's forbidden we don't have access to it and is there anything else we can see uh, there is a style sheet the index.css file so I just try to put here uh, because I thought we can write uh, we can read so you know right <laughs> so we got it we got a develop users password so this is a developers password and now we can use the RACDF and develop a temp flag and yeah it is it is the right one now let's just lock in with it all right so we got quite a few usernames i believe yeah these are all the username because develop is there and let's see let's go to another now um, which one should we do the baiting one yeah let's go let's do it so that user list had a user called login to get flag is it yes i believe it is there what are you waiting for we are not waiting for anything uh, let's see let's go to this instance okay so this is same just log out we don't need it uh, what's the uh, okay right. so, so I tried many things there uh, here actually and <coughs> now what we I tried to do this SQL injection thing and the SQL injection is right here because uh, I think it's in username only or password I don't know all right it's in password I believe password or both anyways uh, we will just try to comment it out and let's see oh there we go we got our flag we just bypassed it and yep that was it for this one and let's see for the let's let's try the admin attack can we do it looks like we managed to get list of users that admin users look particularly interesting but we don't have their password try and attack the login form and see if we can get anything so here the attacking doesn't mean uh, the brute forcing I actually, I actually tried it and I wasted a lot of hours I would I will say so there's only one thing that we use on these CTFs and that is SQL injection and we will do do it and let's see let's go here mm. 
so there these are the users mm, xss layer jimmy the admin how we pronounce it jimmy the admin login to get black pawn boy the proper master master work way anyways uh, let, let's just try to uh, do the simple SQL injection and let's see if we can get okay and the SQL injection is there we, we can find it out by just using the single quote and it's taking a while and yes it is there and now what we can do is uh, All right, come on. Show me. Actually, my internet is not slow. It's just this. All right, we order by one. Will it work? Yep. Order by ten. What error will it show? Okay, should be between one and one. So we will remember this one and one thing let's see order by two out of range so maybe the, there is only one column union all select one let's see hmm. right and left column didn't say right at this moment i just tried um the, that one thing only like one or one is equals to one but or one is equals to one thing and let's see if we can get it oh so we are xss layer we locked in as xss layer and i believe it's right here so maybe it's just using uh, actually it's just uh, using the first one that is XSS layer but we need to get this Jimmy the admin so for that what I did was I just used a limit thing means limit and right now if we will do the one it will go here only X X S layer but to select the second one we can do it limit one and one and here we go we got our flag that is admin abuse attempt flag that is correct and what is this insert witty having access to the site source would be really useful but we don't know how would we get it all we know is that the site runs python so there is very interesting story that I would like to tell you um, from past couple of months I I'm I was doing I was learning actually the flask development and I did I made my final year project with flask only so in flask only so that experience actually helped me in the CDF before it I didn't really know like how I would approach it but that experience helped me so there is a file known as the main.py and that actually just got me flag because the flask or the Django that these are two framework of the Python that generally is used by developers for the uh, backend thing or you can say so <clears throat> yeah so that that was the flag for this if I haven't done that flask or flask thing before then I would never have done it got it maybe so extremely memorable listening let's see we have been asked to test web application we suspect there is a file they used to provide to search engines but we can't remember what it used to be called can you have a look to see uh, what you can find a yeah, sure we can so for that we will be using the 
Mm, oops. Anyways, we will. <laughs> for for you guys, I will just show you again. So actually, it took me an hour to find this mm, file because of a lot of errors. I will I will show you, but before it, uh, I will just tell you. Uh, there was just a simple XML file, so we will be using, we will be finding the XML file only, and while it's finding, let me show you um, six. So here, so if we will go, so. It will give me a ton of errors. It was giving me a ton of errors and it was not finding it at all. So it took me a lot of uh, minutes, I would say, but probably an hour. Anyways, so there was a file on uh, name uh, sitemap. I just got it and means a ton of research was needed, but we got it and then the backup version was this thing the sitemap uh, xml back uh, we can actually get it using this thing um, wget mm. now we can just open it and here you can see the fake.site always um, fake.site and there is a file name journal.txt I just tried to go there journal.txt and here we go there was our flag the RACTF thing alright so yeah so that was it for this tutorial guys thank you for watching fantastic with spirit i hope you enjoyed it and maybe subscribe to this channel or i would highly recommend you to check the john hammer channel the ipsec channel or the live flow channel though these guys are making uh, amazing videos means you will learn a lot or turn i would say just check them out and if you are in bug boundaries i would say check the nahamsek streams and his youtube videos they are amazing so that's it for this tutorial guys keep watching fantastic on spirit see you mm, soon <laughs> i don't know if next week or not but soon thank you